just awful rainy. Hi guys. Well, now that you've watched our van tour, it's time to tell you about the things that we don't like about our van. Don't get us wrong, we've built a very comfortable van and we love spending time in here. But there are just a few things that we wish we would have done differently. And we're about to tell you what they are. All right, let's get started. First off, number one. We would definitely add some additional seating when the bed is down. Maybe a swivel seat up front. Sometimes I like to wake up early in the morning and have a cup of coffee while Oksana wants to sleep in a little bit later. And this camping chair, although very good in the summer to maybe sit outside and enjoy nature, is not too good in the winter. Our daytime seating area is located right under our bed. So when the bed is down, the couch is just not accessible. It's become a bit of an issue in the mornings, but also in the evenings. And this is pretty much Oksana every night after dinner, drinking tea, eating chocolate and working. And she would do this until I beg her to move the bed down. We didn't think about additional seating when we created our van layout. We pictured ourselves enjoying mornings and evenings outside on our camping chairs, using the outdoors as an extension of our van. But having now lived in the van full time, mostly in colder weather, we realized that it's not always possible. So we've been using this makeshift solution with a camping chair inside, but it's definitely not ideal. We wish this bench seat was a little bit wider to make it more comfortable for hanging out and napping. We designed it to line up with our kitchen cabinets to make sure that our hallway is the same width all throughout. We measured a chair at home to make sure that the width of the bench would be comfortable for sitting in but we didn't account for the extra space needed to be able to use the bench as a comfy couch. And as a result, we have noticed that our cushions often slide off the bench and our bodies are sometimes hanging off the couch during naps. If we could go back in time, we'd swap this corner shower for a rectangular one. We chose a corner shower on purpose. The idea was to save space at the entrance and give us more room in the kitchen for cooking and cleaning. But to be honest, the corner shower design added a lot of complexities and a few extra weeks to our van build. And in the end, we found that we don't use the shower in the van all that often. And since we primarily use it as a toilet, it's not always that spacious. And speaking of toilets. probably switch our portable toilet for a compost toilet. Our porta potty was cheap and it does the job, but it needs to be cleaned and emptied every few days. And we have grown really tired of doing this part of van life. So we were about to go hiking and then had to do a little turnaround and come park here. Why is that, Max? We don't like to go number two in our toilet. We don't have a fancy compost toilet because we don't want to spend a thousand dollars US on it and we don't want to clean number two in our toilet. So we typically try to find public toilets that we can use. We've been pretty successful so far. So that's what I'm going to go do right now. We spend a lot of time boondocking or camping on crown land, where dumping stations are not easily available. Sometimes dumping stations are quite easy to find. But other times, it added extra work and complexity to our days. So a composting toilet that we don't have to empty every few days might be a worthy investment. The next thing we would change is we'd add a toe kick. When we built these cabinets, we purposely didn't put a toe kick in because we didn't think we needed it. We wanted to maximize the space. What we soon discovered is it's pretty vital for opening and closing cabinet drawers and not hitting carpet on the ground. We would definitely not use magnetic latches again. We first installed these because they were very easy and cheap and we thought they would work. What we soon discovered is when any of these drawers have any kind of weight in them, they tend to open up when we go around corners. We tried putting two in, one on each side. It simply does not work.
But luckily, we found a solution and got some better latches. I wish we had installed underfloor radiant heating. We did a good job insulating our van during the build, and thanks to our heater, our van stays warm even in the winter. But despite having two layers of insulation on our floor, it stays cold all day long. Socks, boots, or fuzzy slippers are a must to keep our feet warm while inside the van during winter. We really wish we would have finished our camper van build two or three weeks earlier. The truth is, we just got too caught up in making the van too perfect and missed too many good travel opportunities. It felt like everywhere we arrived, people told us, ah, two weeks ago the campgrounds would have still been open, or two weeks ago the colors were still changing, or had you arrived two weeks ago you would have caught the salmon run. At the end of the day, this experience is meant to be more about travel than anything else. So we wish we would have finished the build earlier. So plan your build according to when you want to travel.